So just like we implemented the Google Map in our user's app, now we will implement it in our driver's app. So for that purpose, let's just close the user's app project. And now let's also close the emulator. So now let's open up our driver's app project. So in here on our in our driver's app project what we need to do we need to simply go to our in our home tab dot dot okay which is our first tab page so as you know uh, we have to simply navigate to our google maps flutter okay documentation and in the documentation first of all click here on installing and we have to add the google maps dependency in the popspec.yml file in here click on pubget okay so it has been added successfully and as you know after that we have to follow the documentation for adding the required things for the Android as you know minimum SDK is already 20 in our drivers app project as well if I show you for the confirmation then Android app build.gradle and it is 20 okay and then the next step is to add this metadata so let's just copy it and come back here and in here in the Android app SRC man we have Android manifest.xml and here at the bottom we can simply paste it now before we proceed further one thing which ha which we need to copy from the drivers uh, from the users app okay so go to the users app and in the users app if you remember we have uh, inside the lib we have global and inside the global we have map key so we have to just copy this map key from here and then come back here to the drivers app and I mean to the Android studio and in our global which is here right click on global and click paste and click OK so this is our map key so from here you need to simply copy this key okay on the map key dot dot just copy this map key and in the Android manifest.xml here we have to paste it so yeah that's it this is for the Android now come back here to the browser and we have to do it for the iOS as well so as you know we have to go to the iOS runner and we have app delegate dot swift so just remove this and this piece of code your swift code okay so just copy this and paste it here that's it okay this is the setting for the iOS and Android now we have to implement the maps in our project and by the way we forgot to add this map key in our app delegate dot swift if you come here to the app delegate dot swift then make sure to okay here your key here so you have to paste that key here just like this now let's just close this and on the home tab let's implement the map so here in the documentation uh, let's copy the default position which is kgoogleplex okay just like this we have to import the google maps letter dot dot package So this is K Google Plex, the default position and then the completer copy it and we have to paste it here. Import the dot async and yeah. 
that's it and now in here we can say return stack children google map first of all we have to define the map type map type dot normal and then of course my location enabled to true and then the initial camera position so we have to provide it the k google plex and then on the map on map created and say google map controller let's give it name as controller let's change the name of the instance instead of controller we can give it name as controller google map and then here we can say controller google map dot complete and pass the controller to it now we need to create an instance of the google map controller as you know which i already told you guys in the previous video that is there will be many things which will be updating at real time on our google map so we need to create an instance of our google map controller a new one which will handle all the things related to that so we can say google map controller let's give it name as new google map controller and then here we can assign the controller to our new google map controller make sure to add the null check here okay okay there is no need to add just remove that null check from it but if shows error that is to add a null check then you have to simply add it here so anyways then first of all let's just test the app let's click on the play button and let's wait for it so our app is running now and here we go google maps has been implemented successfully so the, in the driver app we have the google map now as you know by default it displayed the white theme and we want the black theme so for that purpose we will simply go back to our users app and inside the lib we have main screens and on the main screen let's just open this in not okay open with notepad from here we have to simply copy our this method which is black theme google map okay so I'm going to simply copy it okay just copy this method from here and then come back here to the drivers app and in here above the widget build we will simply paste our method just like this as you can see here okay so now let's just call this here so whenever the map created let's add a comment here that is black theme google map and we will call that method which is black theme google map let's just test the app again so here we go so it looks beautiful so guys the remaining course will be available i mean the remaining videos we will upload on our udemy so i will provide the link to the complete course in the description down below so please click on that link and join the complete course okay i will provide the link in the description so yeah see you guys in the complete course okay the remaining videos we will upload on our Udemy. I will provide the link. Please click on it and join the complete course now. So yeah, see you guys in the course that is in the upcoming videos.